and we seen somebody down the street that, you know, had on all black or whatever, and it looked suspicious, so I was telling the kids, like, you know, let's go in the house, we don't know who that is. While I'm telling them to go in the house, the men just started running up and started shooting, and it was a car over here, so the bullets hit some of the car, and, like, it, started, it ricocheted, so I went like that to get the glass away from my face, and I pushed my daughter over here, like, run into the house, run, baby, run. Radia Simmons' young children were innocently playing in their yard when the bullets started flying. She did everything she could to protect her kids, but bullets move faster than even the quickest mom. The next thing Simmons knew, her daughter was shot. She was on the ground screaming, like, I'm hurt, I'm hurt, I'm hurt. For any parent, a gunman opening fire towards their kids is a nightmare. But for Simmons and her family, it's a reality, a dangerous reality that's happened numerous times in this Long Island neighborhood, they say. The shooting Saturday afternoon was just the latest senseless act. Around 2.50 p.m., witnesses in this Hempstead neighborhood say a man dressed in all black walked out of a nearby deli, pulled a gun, pointed it towards a group of people standing outside on the street corner near Peninsula Boulevard and Evans Avenue, and then he started firing. Simmons tells us her seven-year-old daughter was struck in her arm. It's disgusting. That's a little girl. That's, that's, that's going to be a, a mark on her for the rest of her life. She's seven years old. She said to me, why would somebody shoot me? Why would somebody shoot me? How am I supposed to explain that to her? She's seven years old. Screaming for help and not finding any fast enough, Simmons carried her daughter into her car and rushed her to a hospital. She says her daughter is going to be all right. Hampstead police say the gunman got away. Simmons' family wants justice. He will be found, he will be apprehended, he will go to jail. And I hope you find him before I do, period. The shooting happened right next to a playground and a community center. Neighbors tell me they want this shooter off the streets as soon as possible for any more innocent victims, and especially before any more kids have to get hurt. Of course, if anybody out there watching tonight, if you know anything at all about this, please contact the Hempstead Police Department. We're live in Hempstead. I'm Steve Koosh, PIX11. Kaidi.